Right on. I just want to welcome y'all to the ignorant section of the show. Yes, I'm your only black comedian on the show tonight. So that just said, thank you. That just says, and, and they chose the only black comedian in Vegas with a master's degree. See, Jokes' Comedy Club is progressive, but they ain't crazy. They, they ain't cra I can only imagine how that meeting went. What about Tyrone Jenkins? What, didn't Tyrone just get shot? Yeah, yeah, he can't do him. Ryan Cole, yeah, he just got his master's. Let's talk to him. Now look, when I come out, I want to talk to everybody. I like to get everybody involved. But the first thing I want to do is I want to make an announcement. Anybody still got their cell phones on, it, on loud? Please turn them off, put them on vibrate. Um, no, please, it's usually always women. It's always when I see one right there, I see another one right there. It's always women. Fellas, we always got our phone on vibrate, right? Right, right that's what I'm talking about, right? Right, sir, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, see women, it's just because we don't want to disturb y'all. That's all, that's all. <laughs> Fellas, get, do, this, do this for me. Just clap your hands if you've ever been involved in a text message argument with your girlfriend or your wife. Anybody? Am I the only one? Right. right. Right, it's usually a misunderstanding, right? Because women are impatient. Every man in here knows that if you don't text a woman back within 30 seconds, you automatically cheating. And you're not just regular cheating in a nice hotel room with a with an escort. No, in her mind, like you behind a D hotel next to a dumpster with a two dollar hooker, no condom, chlamydia everywhere. And like in her mind is just going crazy. No, women are impatient when it comes to the text back. They are like really like, okay, look, this true story just really happened to me. I had a girlfriend, she texted me. The text said, do you have plans tonight? And I didn't, so naturally I'm gonna take my time texting back no. But before I could send out my no, she's already sending me another damn text. Do you want me to come over? But her do you want me to come over comes in before I could send out my no. Now it looks like I'm answering no to do you want me to come over? Now this bitch got attitude. <laughs> then she sends me another text. Why can't I come over? You got some other bitch coming over? But I'm in the middle of texting back yes in response to do you want me to come over? But her, why not? You got some other bitch coming over, comes in before I can send out my yes. Now like I'm answering yes to why not? You got some other bitch coming over. So now she's at home flipping out. So then she sends me another text in all caps with 15 exclamation points behind it. it says, do you want to be in this relationship or not? But I'm in the middle of texting back no in response to why not? You got some other bitch coming over. But her, do you want to be in this relationship or not, comes in before I can send out my no. Now, like, I'm answering no to do you want to be in this relationship or not. So now she's at home smearing Vaseline on her face, snatching out her earrings, putting on tennis shoes, on her way over to my house to fight some bitch that don't even exist. <laughs> All because she couldn't hold her horses and wait for me to respond to a fucking text message. The moral of that story is, women, put your phones on vibrate during the show. We'd appreciate it, please. <laughs> I know. Thank you. I thank you. It was a long way to go to get to that announcement, but now we got to it. Let's get to some jokes. Um, anybody in here believe in the paranormal? Supernatural? Yes, sir. A couple white people. Yeah. Black people still waiting on Jesus to come back. That's all, that's all we waiting on. That's... But no, I, I, I seen it. That's why I believe in it now. I seen it. I have a ghost in my house. And believe it or not, he's a racist ghost. Like, it is like, how, why did he choose to haunt me? I don't know, but this bastard is racist. Like, I know he's racist, because you know how most ghosts, they float around in a sheet? Well, his sheet has a point at the top. He is, <laughs> he's racist as shit. Like, no, really, like, okay, like, he does racist stuff. Like, you know how most ghosts, they'll jump out and scare you, they'll say, boo, but he don't say boo. Like, he just jumped out one day, he was like, jigaboo. I said, bitch, you can't say that. It's, it's 2017, you can't do that. And he, like, he just does stuff, man. He jumped out one day, knocked a picture off the wall as I was walking down the hall. I was like, man, damn, man, stop. You're scaring me, that's spooky. He said, no, you're the spook. I said, bitch, you can't, you can't say that. He got the nerve to have a little ghost pet, a little bird, man. He has a crow named James, but he just calls him Jim Crow. Uh, Racist, man. He is. I also got, okay, I'm gonna be honest, man. I, I got another ghost in my house. My house is full of ghosts. I got, I got a gay ghost. Any gay people in here? Yes. Like, I got a gay ghost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if, 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 if you weren't, now you are. <laughs> I ain't got nothing against gay people, but man, this ghost, man, he, he's weird too, man. Like he has a point in his sheet too, but it's not at the top. It's usually like out here. And he usually shows up when I get out the shower. It's weird. And he don't say boo either. He don't say boo like a normal ghost. He just taps me on my nose and he goes, boop. I'm like, bitch, this is not that type of party. You can't do that. <laughs> All right, um, I got a friend here tonight. I haven't seen him in years. I just want to talk about him real quick. His name is 
Willie. Willie is stupid as shit. He is. <laughs> if you came here with somebody stupid tonight, clap your hands. Where you at? Okay, all right. All right, you're not getting nothing tonight. I'm gonna let, let you know that right now. Willie is stupid. He can't spell, but he wanna spell stuff all the time. He likes to spell stuff like the police do, like J-Jack, Q-Queen, but he can't spell. One night I'm over his house, and he's on the line with the airline reservation agent. All she wants him to do is read back the confirmation number. Willie fucked the whole thing up. Uh, yeah, the confirmation number is, uh, 7249, uh-huh. J is in Jack. Uh, J is in giraffe. <laughs> N is in knife. And H is in Jose. I said, Willie, give me the phone. <laughs> But well, he does this all the time, man. One time we were behind this car. The car had a personalized license plate spelled Jessica. Real creative. J-E-S-S, -S, the number one, the letters K-A. Real creative way to spell Jessica, right? Yeah. The car swerves in front of us. It crashes. It hits a pole. I get the lady out the car. I get her over to the side of the road. I'm like, ma'am, are you okay? Do I need to call somebody? Here comes Willie. Oh, girl, you done messed up your vehicle. Too bad you don't have another one. I said, Willie, you don't even know her, man. You need to be calling somebody. He said, I'm just saying, she messed up that fine ride. It's too bad she don't have another one. I said, you don't even know her. How the hell you know she ain't got another vehicle? He said, well, look at her license plate. It says, just one car. I said, Willie, <laughs> you don't get your dumb ass back in the car before they come and arrest you too for being stupid. <laughs> hey, you guys, that is my six and a half minutes. I am out of here. My name is Ryan Cole. You guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you. <laughs>